welcome back. I'm Jill at the Carefree Kitchen and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the easiest, yummiest Sunday pot roast and you can use a rub roast for this recipe. You can use a sirloin roast, a round roast, a chuck roast, almost any of those roasts will do. And this recipe is perfect for the slow cooker. So stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, Please be sure to subscribe, like, and follow me on social media, and I will take you along on this food journey and show you all kinds of easy and delicious recipes your family will love. So, to get started on this recipe, I have my slow cooker here. I think this is like a six quart slow cooker, but you can use something that's a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger. I have kind of a big family. There are seven of us, so I have a bigger slow cooker, um, and I make quite a bit of meat at the same time. So. This is a beef bottom round roast, but again, you can use a rump roast. It works great for rump roast, sirloin roast, just about any of those. And the reason why a slow cooker is so good for these types of roasts is that these are a little bit of a tougher cut of meat from the cow. So with the slow cooker, we cook it nice and slow for a long period of time, and it breaks down those connective tissues, and that's how you get the really moist and tender roast that we all love. Okay, so to get started, I am just going to put my roast here in my slow cooker. All right, and as you can see, I've got kind of a layer of fat on here, and that's going to be just fine. Um, we can trim off any large parts of fat or gristle as we are shredding our meat. All right, and then I'm gonna put that side down, and then all of this marbling is fine. A lot of the connective tissues are going to dissolve, and then you'll be left with this really moist, shreddable, tender beef. We have our beef here, and then this is a seasoning that I like to use. It's the Italian Good Seasons salad dressing and recipe mix. And you're just gonna use one envelope of that. I'm going to just sprinkle that on there, kind of covering the whole thing. The next thing I'm going to use is cream and mushroom soup. And I don't like to use cream and mushroom soup a lot in my recipes, but this one makes the best gravy and you don't wanna skip this part. And then I have some garlic and a few carrots and then of course a couple onions here. Alrighty, I am going to prepare my carrots. And if you don't like to eat cooked carrots, you don't need to peel them, you can just wash them. But I have a couple people in my family who really love cooked carrots, so I am going to take the skin off of those. They're a little bit prettier and they don't have that like thick skin. I just get all of the skin off there. And since we are going to be cooking this for um, quite a while, uh, probably four to five hours. I am going to leave the carrots in bigger chunks. So maybe three inch chunks, two inch chunks, something like that. And then we'll just put them into our slow cooker. All right, and I like to use some garlic here. Probably three big cloves is about right. Just cut off the little ends there. Okay, and then if you give them a nice good whack, then you can get all of that paper off. Okay, and then I'm actually going to be blending these up in the blender uh, to make the gravy. So even if they are just coarsely chopped, it's great. Okay, and then for the onions, I like to just chop them in half, cut the little ends off, and then peel the outer skin off. And then the onions you can just quarter. And that is good enough for this recipe. All right, and then here is that cream of mushroom soup. All right, so I have my lid on there and I have all my ingredients in there and it's probably gonna cook for five or six hours. So we'll be back soon. So let me show you a little hack that um, I learned. I don't actually like the smell of beef cooking every day, all day long. By the time it cooks, then I don't actually like to eat it at night. So this is what I like to do. So I just put it outside, have an outdoor outlet, put it outside and then it can just cook all day and I don't have to smell it in the house. Anyways, it works like magic. I do it with almost everything that I crock pot because I don't like my house to smell like food a lot. Anyway, just a little hack. 
but I thought I'd share with you. All right guys, here is my crock pot rolls and I'm gonna show you how to prepare it. I am just going to use two forks and lift it up out of that gravy here. And then I'm gonna take two forks and just shred it easily with my two forks. And if your crock pot roast or your slow cooker roast is not quite shreddable, that just means that it hasn't been cooked quite long enough. You need to put it back in your crock pot or back in your oven for another hour or so, maybe half hour, until those connective tissues have melted and you can easily shred it. And if you come across some little bits of fat, like right here, I remember there was some connective tissue there or some a chunk of fat there. I just put it on a plate so that I can discard it later or feed it to the dog or whatever. And look how easy that shreds. It's so perfect. We really love making this pot roast on a Sunday. We like to just put it in the crock pot before we, uh, when we wake up and then it's ready after church or whenever we are ready to have it. It's an easy family dinner idea. And actually this roast looks great. I actually don't have too much gristle or uh, anything left over. And now I'm going to lift these carrots out and put the carrots on the plate. Okay, and as you can see, left in my crock pot are all of these drippings. And then I have some onions and some garlic. I'm going to take out a couple of the big chunks of onion. I do want some of them in there because it's gonna make my gravy really sweet. And I will show you how to make some homemade gravy with this amazing roast beef. So I took out about half of that onion and then I put all of my drippings into my blender. Now I'm gonna start this on low and blend it up. There's a few garlic cloves in there and then also a few pieces of onion, which I want, and I'm just going to mix this all up until it's nice and smooth. So the next thing you wanna do is put your pan on medium high heat and then we're going to put all of these drippings right into the pan. Now we need that to come up to a boil and you can use a whisk for this or just a spoon. I would actually prefer a whisk but I can't find mine so we're improvising. Even if you want to just put a little bit of water in your blender and just get all of those yummy flavors. Okay. Before we put in any cornstarch, we need this to come up to a boil. And the way that you wanna make your cornstarch mixture is I have about three tablespoons of water in my bowl. And then I'm gonna add about three spoonfuls of cornstarch. To thicken gravy, you wanna be sure that you put cold water in there. And then you just stir it up here. I don't know if you can see that. And just keep on stirring until it's nice and smooth. You don't wanna put it in when it has chunks in it. It needs to be nice and smooth. All right, we are boiling. So now I'm going to add the cornstarch. And after you add the cornstarch, be sure you boil it for another minute or so so that you don't get that cornstarch flavor. So I'm not gonna add quite all of it. All right, and then you mix it. Take it off the heat. All right, that is about the consistency that I want it. I want it to coat the back of the spoon and not drip all off. So, it's been about a minute and I've tasted it and it actually tastes really great. I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper to this. Stir that in and the salt is just about right. And again, if you need to adjust it, add a little bit of salt, onion powder for the sweetness and garlic powder if it needs more depth. And then of course, if you added too much of the cornstarch mixture, just go ahead and thin it down with a little bit of beef broth. Water would work too, because this is already has a ton of flavor on it. All right, here is the Sunday pot roast, the crock pot rump roast, the most amazing Sunday dinner you're gonna have. And I love to serve this with mashed potatoes and gravy if possible. And then also these cooked carrots are so good. All right, now time for a taste test. That's a big bite. Mm. Seriously, so good. So, so good. So moist and so tender. Your family's gonna love it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow to get all kinds of delicious, yummy recipes that your family will love. 
and thank you so much for watching this episode of The Carefree Kitchen. Again, if you want a printable version of this recipe, just click in the link in the description below and it will take you right to the recipe. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. This pot roast is fall apart tender, shreddable, and so moist and tender. This has been a tradition in our family for decades and I hope it can become a tradition in your family too.